Hey everyone, today we're going to talk about dietary citrates and their impact on kidney stones. Now, the reason that I wanted to cover this was because most people, when they discuss kidney stones with their medical provider, the sage old advice has always been to just increase your water consumption. While that does have merit because it does provide for an environment that will help reduce the occurrence of kidney stones, there are other things that you can do to help boost your protection. Now, before we dig into citrates and citric acid and how it can help you with your kidney stones, I wanna just take a second and briefly review the different conditions that will lead to the various type of kidney stones that are out there. Now, for the intents of this short video, we're just gonna cover the top five type of categories that people will encounter on them most often. So to start off with, calcium oxalate stones, these are the most prevalent. These are a result of calcium binding with oxalic acid in the body. Calcium phosphate is a result of an alkaline urine pH plus calcium and phosphoric acid binding. Uric acid stones are a result of an acidic pH that binds with increased levels of uric acid in the body. Struvite stones are due to bacteria and cysteine stones are a hereditary condition uh, that causes people to form stones quite rapidly. Now, when it comes to citric acid, uh, a lot of people are familiar with this because of fruit and uh, sodas and things along those lines that contain this, but it's not to be confused with ascorbic acid, which is vitamin C. Citric acid is an organic acid that is in a whole assortment of fruits and vegetables, but predominantly, it's gonna be most abundant in lemons and limes. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't get it from fruits such as grapefruits or oranges. Um, it has citric acid for sure, but the most bang for your buck is going to come from lemons and limes. Additionally, it is available in a synthetic form, uh, which are the citrate version of it, and those are typically found in either calcium citrates, potassium citrates, and magnesium citrates. But one thing that we do want to keep it uh, in mind is that the citric acid is going to be most bioavailable in its natural form, and that means it's coming from real fruits and real vegetables, in particular in our case, lemons and limes. Now, how does this work? So basically what it boils down to is citric acid in the body makes urine less favorable for stone formation. So in essence, the more citric acid or citrates that you have in your system, the less likely it's going to be uh, that you're gonna form kidney stones. And the way that this works, in particular for people with calcium oxalate uh, type of stones, is that the citric acid actually binds with calcium and other stone forming materials to block calcium and oxalic acid binding together. So if it doesn't bind, that oxalic acid just gets passed out of your system. For those people suffering from uric acid stones, as we had mentioned up here, it's a matter of urine pH that really creates the environment for which the stones are going to form. So if you have an acidic pH that lends to this, if we're adding in something that actually can alkalize the urine, this is one of the things that will lead, it will change the environment in the body to allow uric acid stones not to form. It blocks the ability for those to form. And if you're looking for more information on the specific stone types that are out there and why they form, so a little bit more information like on uric acid stones, please check out our video log. We have a whole host of videos on all these different stone types that goes into more detail for why they form and the different factors that surround it. But in this instance, for those people in particular with calcium oxalate and uric acid stones, they will find a tremendous amount of benefit by adding in some citric acid or dietary citrates. Um, for the people that have the other types of stones, so calcium phosphate stones, struvite and cysteine stones, you will still realize benefit in terms of stone uh, prevention, but it will be at a much less uh, of an effective rate in essence. Really truly, citric acid and citrates are gonna be the most impactful on calcium oxalate stones and uric acid stones just by the mechanism by which it works. Now, how do you wanna go about using this? So our suggestion, again, getting back to the most abundant source and the most bioavailable source is to take one or two lemons or limes on a daily basis and juice it. So if we were to ask a urologist or a medical professional about citrate therapy, which is very commonly prescribed for people with kidney stones, we'd be looking at about a dose of 1200 milligrams per day, which is roughly 12 tablets uh, in this 
the citrate tablets you'll get on the market are generally between 90 and 100 milligrams. So again, 10 to 12 tablets, we're looking about that 1200 milligrams, and that's what you're gonna get from the juice of about one to two normal sized lemons or limes. And we always recommend freshly squeezed because it's the most bioavailable. You can get stuff that's in a bottle, again, if you're convenience minded. However, the stuff that's in a bottle, it is, it's been pasteurized, which means it's been treated by heat. And that can actually impact the bioavailability of it, which lessens the impact on your kidney stones. So we suggest freshly squeezed. It's a little bit more work. However, you can prepare this stuff in bulk if you want to, have it sit in your refrigerator for a day or two, and just add it into your water, uh, into your tea, however you wanna consume it, but it will make a tremendous benefit in the formation of your calcium oxalate or uric acid kidney stones. So for those of you that are looking for a little bit of research-based proof, there are a number of different studies that are out there that have addressed citrates and citric acid in stone formation. So we've kind of taken a top level look as far as what the actual impact was across all those different studies, which literally covered uh, close to a thousand different individuals. So when we took a look at people who consumed citric acid, uh, there are still some of them that did form stones, but it was only at a rate of about 14.5% of the people forming stones. So that means that 85% of the people who consumed citric acid or citrate blocked stone formation, which is pretty encouraging. And on the other hand, when people that were given the placebo in those research studies, the average was 52% of the people uh, formed new kidney stones. So 85% people blocked kidney stones by taking citrate and 50% of the population that was in the study that didn't take dietary citrate or citric acid formed new stones. So being a kidney stone former myself, this right here uh, is enough reason for me to really look hard at finding a way to add in some dietary citrate or citric acid into my routine every single day to help slow down or block completely the formation of kidney stones. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us either on our website uh, or through this video on YouTube here. Uh, if you have any questions, we're here to help. Otherwise, we will see you again in our next video. Thanks so much.